Hello, fly girls and fly guys. Welcome to the Butterfly Boudoir. I am Madam Butterfly, and thank you guys for getting ready with me. I'm so excited. Now, I know y'all are like, girl, where are you going? We are still in quarantine. Rona is still running around and free. Listen, I'm not going nowhere, okay? Listen, I ain't been nowhere in some months, okay? <laughs> My job has been working from home since March, so I really ain't been going nowhere. Unless it's to the grocery store, I don't go nowhere. Like, I don't even remember the last time that I put gas in my car. Like, that's how long it's been. But, I do have to film a few videos. So I figured, why not do a get ready with me so you guys can get ready with me while I'm filming other videos. <laughs> So I just wanted to have a little girl talk with y'all. You know how we do when we're in the bathroom, we got music playing, you know, we just, you know, chilling out, we just vibing when we doing our makeup. So I figured why not, let's have a little girl talk, let's talk about our girl Meg, right, and support our girl. So let's get into it. So let me show you guys the makeup products I'm going to be using, it's a few different products. I'm going to be using... Juvia's Place, LA Pro Girl, there's some Wet n Wild, Maybelline, so let's just get into it. The first product that I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Master Prime Primer, okay? Oh, child, I don't even have my mirror with me. Pause for the calls. All right, so I got my mirror. <laughs> I'm all set. Let's try this again. So we're going to start with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I've already washed my face, so let's just go ahead and moisturize. Now let's talk about Meg. Let's talk about our hot girl Meg. We ain't really had no hot girl summer. Rona just will not let us be great. But what do y'all think? Like I did a commentary video on that whole situation, you guys please. Go check it out. <laughs> I have it up there at the top. Um, but what do y'all think about this whole situation with Meg and Tori? Like, listen, <laughs> I said this in my commentary video. Are Meg, Kelsey, and Tori the new entanglement? <laughs> like, are they the new Will, Jada, and August? Like, what's going on? Y'all know after it happened, Meg went on live and you know she was very um sentimental of course and she was just discussing how you know not having her family around her mom her dad and her grandma no longer here so she didn't really have them to center her so she was just doing things to fill that void and she just owned up to that fact and that she was surrounding herself by not so good people and she got emotional on that live you know but the girl did a recent recent live and she just went off she ain't having it no more she was like look <laughs> say one more again say my name one more again i like to start with my eyes okay so as you guys can see i have dark circles under my eyes and it's really a, a hereditary thing both of my parents have it so naturally i have it now for me i like to use la pro girl um orange concealer this is like heaven for me. When I started wearing makeup, it took me forever to figure out how to conceal my dark circles. I would wear foundation and it's like you could still see um, my dark circles underneath the foundation. As I got more into makeup and learning about makeup more, that's when I discovered color correctors and concealers and when i found la pro girl it was like heaven like once you find something like you don't switch up like you just stick to it at least for me like when i find something i buy it in bulk you know what i'm saying so like i get my la pro girl concealers from the hair store and if they have like five six of them left because they sell up quick i snatch them all up so after i put my um corrector on I let that dry for a little bit and then I move on to my eyes so with my eyebrows I use a tub of eyeliner look get you a tub 
that'll be good for a year. I don't know how long I have had this tub, <laughs> baby. It's been forever. This is LA Colors. This is a light brown. Now for me, I know sometimes when I'm doing certain things, um, on my face it's like I can't really talk it's like you need that concentration if it turns out you know a little messy or a little bit uneven you know I'll go back and clean it up with my concealer but let's get back to the hot girl now Tori has not said anything right like from my recollection I haven't heard anything from Tori I've been on his social medias and he hasn't posted anything since like the beginning of July so he has not spoken up about anything now in Megan's live she did say that his people his publicists his camp they are speaking out on his behalf and they're you know trying to obviously um, protect him and they're trying to make it seem like he you know didn't shoot her but you know Meg just came out and said he did it Tori shot me you shot me you know, and she's like, why lie? Why are you lying about it? You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Listen, <laughs> maybe it's just because I'm nosy. I don't know. But I mean, I kind of want to know the full story too. I mean, I know it's not none of our business, but you know, I want to know what happened too. Now she said in her live that, um, I believe she said she was in the front seat, Tori was in the back. Now, I don't know if Kelsey was in the front with her and the security was in the back with Tori or if Kelsey was in the back with Tori and security was in the front with Megan. Now look, <laughs> it's it, it been some speculations. Why would Kelsey be in the back with her man if Meg and Tori are talking? Like, wait a minute, man. What y'all doing back there? So I have Juvia's Place for the eyeshadows. I have two palettes. I have the Berries and the Warrior. Now, the Berries, I live for this palette, okay? These are pinks and purples. I live for this because this is what I wear like on an everyday basis. The Warrior palette, this is kind of different. Now, I got this because I don't wear any of these colors. Like green and, and yellow and purple and blue gray <laughs> i don't wear these colors right so i wanted to get out of the box and try something different now i don't know if you guys have been on juvia's places instagram but they have like their makeup artists doing different models and celebrities and when they're working on darker skin women and they put these colors on them the blues and the golds and the greens they pop like they absolutely pop like colors like that always look good on darker melanated skin so i wanted to try it so i got it but it just don't look like how it look on them on me my colors that i'm going to use on the eyes are purple and pink so the purple is going to go on the outsides and then the pink's going to go in the front so i like to start with the outside so we're going to do the purple first i like tori i mean i wasn't like a huge fan like i mean i i don't have like his music i mean i follow him or whatever and then there's a few songs of his that i like um but you know i'm not like a super fan of his or whatever but i didn't not like him you know um but after this you know it's like what the you know it, it's crazy like i i just I want to know like what was going on in his mind, you know, to make him do that. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard from different people, different YouTubers, you know, that uh, Tori has like a reputation of having an attitude and, you know, just being really aggressive with different guys. I haven't heard anything about him being aggressive towards any women but i have heard stories of him being aggressive towards men i did see michael b jordan he had posted something about protecting megan and that he stands with her and i heard i, I mean i saw like black women going in on him under under the post they were like oh so you want to 
uh, support black women, but you date white women. Now look, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Michael B. Jordan. I don't follow him. I know he looked damn good in Black Panther. Um, and if we were to get married, I wouldn't have to change my last name because my last name is Jordan. Hello. I definitely um, agree with protecting black women, protecting women in general, but we can't expect black men to protect us if we're not protecting ourselves. We're not protecting our energy. Now, granted, Megan may not have known what type of guy Tori was, but after she found out, <laughs> after she went through this incident she protected him she protected him by not saying anything and i know she probably you know felt some type of way towards him if they were talking she may have had feelings for him she may have wanted to protect him from the police because she did say how she was scared to tell the police that there were guns involved or that there was a gun in the car so i get that but you know we can't be protecting these men, you know, if they're not protecting us. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like she's already told the police that there was no gun involved. So it's like, I don't know if she were to go to the police now and say Tori shot her, would it be... I don't know if saying valid is the word, but I mean, would they accept that now since she hasn't already told them that there was no gun in the car? I don't know. Now he got his team out here trying to make Megan look crazy and make him the victim. There are people saying, you know, she had to have said something. She had to have done something to make him, you know, do what he did. And it's just crazy. Like, and there are men that are saying that. And it's like, what the, are y'all all women beaters so um i've got my eyeshadow on i think it's popping what do y'all think it's a mixture of the purple and the sparkly pink all right so now i'm gonna um put some eyeliner on this is la colors just a regular black liquid eyeliner i don't like to use pencil i like to use um a liquid now i don't do anything crazy with my eyeliner, I know a lot of people or some people like to do the wing, you know? I mean, um, I'm not against it, but I mean, I just, you know, I just like to keep it simple. I just line my top lid and keep it moving. And I don't really wear um, liner on the bottom. I used to wear liner on the bottom, but I used to always get the <laughs> liquid in my eye. And oh my gosh, you get liquid eyeliner in your eye, baby. That ain't nothing to play with. I saw Meg do um, like a little makeup thing on YouTube. I think it was for CoverGirl. Um, it wasn't really like a tutorial, but it was just her, you know, showing how she was on her makeup. I guess that's the tutorial. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> but it was cute, though. I liked it. I like her personality. I like when celebrities do YouTubes or have reality shows because you can really see their personalities and see how they really are. Because just seeing them um, in music videos or doing performances, you don't really get to know them. All right, so I have my... Um, eyeliner on let me put some mascara on this is wet and wild mega length all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do this now even though i'm doing my lashes right now i don't put on the fake lashes until the end that's like the last step <laughs> all right so the color corrector should be dry now, so it's time to move on to my foundation. So the foundation that I use is Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. This is the Fit Me Foundation, and it is in 335 Classic Tan. Now this brush, I go back and forth between the brush and the sponge when I'm applying my foundation. So I just go back and forth. Now I use this when I don't want to get product on my hands. 
um because with a sponge it just gets messy um <laughs> but with the brush it's just easier you know what i'm saying it's easier um oh child hold up a too much um but this is moda it's from the moda brand i don't know if i'm saying that right m-o-d-a but um they have a little whole line like i have these brushes for you know when i'm um doing my highlights and then this is for the foundation brushes and the concealer brushes so i like moda so let's go ahead and do this foundation my prayers and thoughts go out to megan you know i feel bad that she doesn't have you know her mom with her to help her during this time tori baby <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen to your ass <laughs> i really don't know what's gonna happen to his ass like i really don't um so with my foundation when i'm putting my foundation on i don't put it on um under my eyes just yet i do that last and when i'm using this brush i definitely <laughs> don't use this to um blend in the foundation under my eyes because it's just too big <laughs> for me it's too big so i like to use a smaller brush to uh, blend that in so i use that last i do that part last i really like this big brush have you guys used this like <laughs> this is so dope like i really did not know i like, think made anything like this i got this from the Walmart. I was gonna say <laughs> the dollar store. Okay, so I'm gonna use the smaller brush. This is also from the Moda brand. I'm gonna use this to do under my eyes. I also use this too um, for the concealer too because it's, it's small and it gets in there. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna save this for the uh, concealer and I'm gonna use this one. This one is a little bigger than that one. I'm gonna use this to do my foundation. But, um, wow, what do y'all think? I like it. I know there's like some women out there who think the song is degrading to women. And of course, there's men out there who think that too. Hell, you had CeeLo. <laughs> you had CeeLo in his feelings. Like, oh my goodness. And it's so crazy because it's like, people are acting like this is the first time they've heard a dirty song and I'm like what did y'all expect from this collab Cardi does you know like the trap type music you know what I mean she does have you know some pop in there a little bit you know I like it, it was kind of pop but I mean Cardi does this type of music her um, lyrics are raunchy she dresses <laughs> raunchy she dances she twerks she does all of that and so does Megan you know what I'm saying? So it actually fit them perfectly. You know, of course, there's the double standard because the men can rap about this type of stuff all the time. They can rap about, you know, doing all this type of stuff to a girl and not get any type of backlash. But let a female do it and it's like, oh, yeah. they're such whores. They're not conducting themselves like ladies. How is a lady, you know, supposed to conduct themselves? Like, what's the rule book? To be a woman, you cannot speak any type of sexual language. And people are saying, you know, it's not good for a little girl. Well, what is your little girl listening to this type of music for? <laughs> Last time I checked, Cardi was, what, 26, 27? Meg is 25, so um, that constitutes them as being grown-ass women. What's your daughter, your 15-year-old daughter doing listening to this anyway? My favorite part of that song, oh no, is two parts <laughs> that Cardi said. The first one is when she's like, I want you to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. And then you hear the, uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness, when I tell you I hollered, when I heard that part, when they uh, put the, the sound of the Mac truck, I hollered. And then the other one was when she's like, 
I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my <laughs> The way she says it, dangly thing, it's just so funny. Baby, let me tell you. There's this meme. Um, I think Cardi had reposted it. <laughs> um, it was a video clip of, I believe it was Jennifer Hudson. And she was singing. You know how big of a voice Jennifer has. And she was singing, touch me. <laughs> and somebody had put underneath it, <laughs> dangly thing in the back of my throat. And then you see Jennifer, touch me. <laughs> It was so funny. I hollered. Oh my goodness. So shout out to Cardi. Shout out to Meg. Because baby, they done went to number one. <laughs> Period. Now I am going to use my CoverGirl Clean Face Powder. This is the Soft Honey color. Um, I don't use the um, sponge. I don't know why I still have it. I need to throw that away. <laughs> but I use um, a makeup brush for it. And it's pretty. I just don't have no name or no numbers on it, so I can't tell you what it is. But <laughs> so I use this as like a first form of setting powder. I use um, a setting powder, but I like to use my <clears throat> face powder first because I don't use a face powder at the end. <clears throat> Once my blush and everything is on, I don't use face powder. So I like to put that on first. All right, so now I'm going to do my um, setting powder. I'll be using the Wet n Wild Banana Powder. Have y'all seen the parody version of WAP by um, a girl named Lardy? B. <laughs> now apparently uh, she has a big following and um, she doesn't do just parody songs she's an actual artist but I think she got big and, and she blew up off of her parody songs but she did a um, parody of WAP <laughs> and it's called Wings and Pizza listen Baby, when I tell you that song was actually, um, it was actually pretty dope. It was actually pretty dope. She has another artist featured in the song with her. I think her name is Nichelle. I don't think it's Michelle with an M. I think it's Nichelle with an N. <clears throat> I know her name started with an N. I believe it's Nichelle. But it's pretty dope. Y'all go check her out. Lardy B. I heard through the grapevine. <laughs> um, Nikki and Beyonce are supposed to come out with um, a song. You know? You know? Because Cardi and, and Meg, you know, done took over and got number one. You know, Nikki was like, oh, hell no. Y'all ain't gonna leave me out. <laughs> the bus. And that's not a bad idea because I like when they teamed up before and um, did um, Feeling Myself. We all was talking about Feeling Myself, Feeling Myself. Speaking of Beyonce though, have y'all seen Black is King? I have not seen Black is King yet. I really haven't. Isn't that on, um, I think it's on Disney Plus, is it? I don't have Disney Plus so I haven't seen it but I have seen like a few videos from it. Um, I saw, oh I'm going to let this bait for a little bit. <laughs> um, I saw Power. I think that's what it's called. Baby! I had to watch that a couple times. Like, that video was so powerful. Like, I loved it. I had a few favorite scenes in there. One of the scenes was like when the dancers, they had like this white and black like bodysuit and they were all running down the hallway, like the way the camera was angled, I loved it. It's <laughs> like they were running. It felt like it was like they was running at you, like they was gonna run out the camera and hit your head. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I loved it. Um, it was another scene that I like. Um, I liked the girl who um, it was like at the end 
um, the girl, she had like this blue bodysuit and she was on the ground and she had her leg up in the air and she was like, you know, kind of twerking while she was laying on the ground. I thought that was dope. I like that. And then I like the bigger woman who had on like this fringe and she was just shaking and you know, I liked it. Like, I liked that whole video. It was so dope. You know, Beyonce had Blue Ivy in the video. Like, it was just crazy, crazy symbolism and it was just amazing. Now, I would like to see um, Beyonce and Meg make a video for Savage. You know, I'm surprised they haven't. I mean, when Savage dropped, were we in COVID yet? I don't know if we were. But I mean, the song was bomb. I can just imagine how the video would be. We already know what Beyonce gives when she do videos. Baby, man, if they would've did a video together, when Meg had performed on the BET Awards, and she, she did Savage in the desert, like, man, if Beyonce would've, listen, if Beyonce would've came riding out on the four-wheeler, <laughs> I would've had my life. If Beyonce would've came out, I would've been like, oh, all right, so I am going to go and um, blend in this banana powder, this setting powder. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to put the face powder on. So with my setting powder, I just like to tap it in. I don't like to wisp it away because um, I don't want the product to fall everywhere. You know, so I just like to pat it in. Pat, 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 like so. <laughs> that just reminded me. If y'all have kids, <laughs> then you might know this. There's this show on the Disney Channel called um, Little Einsteins. And when they want to make um, the rocket ship go up in the air, you have to go pat. Pat, 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 louder! <laughs> and that just reminded me when I was saying pat, 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 you know, about makeup in. Now when it comes to my blush, I have been out of blush for quite some time and I just haven't gone to the store to buy any because we're quarantined. We can't go out chill nowhere, so why don't you go buy some makeup out? So I've been using my Rimmel London Magnify Eyes Crimson Edition. So this is really eyeshadow, but baby, I've been using it for um, my blush. So as you can see on this side, it's more browns. And on this side, it's like the pinks. You see, this side has not been touched. Like I have not used this side. I've been all on the pink side. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm gonna use for my blush. I'm going to use this light pink one right here. And I'm going to go in with my angled blusher. Now, I told you I'm not really, you know, big on the brush titles and all that, but now this one is called the blusher blush. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting tongue tied. This is called the Blusher Brush. Okay, so this is obviously for blush. And this is the Angled Brusher. But I prefer to use the Angled Brusher versus the Blusher Brush for my blush because the Angled Brush, see how it's, you know, literally got an angle. It's going down versus this one that's just a regular you know, brush. I just feel like using the angled brush, it's automatically giving me that angle. <laughs> it's giving me that shape that I want for my blush versus this, the round tip. I feel like I have to make it. I don't know, I can't describe it. I just prefer using the angled brush to do my blush versus the actual blusher brush. So, now that I've gone through that spiel, let's go ahead and put our eyeshadow blush on. Sometimes I do the fish lips or duck lips. No, it's fish lips, because the duck lips is when you're taking a picture and you're like, right? And the fish lips is when you're sucking it in. So yeah. <laughs> 
So I do the fish lips sometimes, you know, just so I can see where I'm putting my blush. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to get it in that indention when you suck in. That indention that it makes, the little sunken. Mm -hmm. So what else is going on? <clears throat> Let me see. I'm just ready for 2020 to be over. <laughs> I've been able to work from home now since Corona, so I mean, I like that. <laughs> but, you know, not being able to go out, mm, I just, and it's not like I really went out to begin with, you know, but now I don't even have the option. And I know there's some people who still go out regardless. They don't even, they, don't, they going out, they still having parties, mm-mm, not me, nope, no, no, no. Now, I will put on my lashes. So, the lashes that I'm using are from KISS. This was a five pack of lashes. Um, it's the KISS Ever Easy Lashes. Um, I like, like, the long wispy lashes i don't like the lashes that are like really close together and i don't like individuals like listen <laughs> that's too much i ain't got a lot of time to be doing no damn individual lashes now i already took out the lashes from that pack so i have them right here um and the lash glue that i use is i use um it says clear um i guess that means it dries on clear i don't know but it comes out white it's from la colors Dramati Lash Lash Adhesive and my tweezers that I use to put on my lashes. It's a woman. Do y'all see it? You see the woman? Aha! <laughs> yeah. After I put on my um lashes, I'm going to put on my lippy stick and then we'll be done. We'll be done. We would have got ready already. Sometimes the lash is going quick, sometimes it'll be a little struggle. Let me go over the lash with my eyeliner real quick. I saw some glue come up, so you just cover that right up with some uh some black. Bam. <laughs> like that. Right, I'm gonna put a little mascara on the lashes. Do y'all put mascara on your lashes? On the fake lashes? Or do you just leave them as is? I know it's like, why would you bother putting <laughs> mascara on um, the false lashes? But I feel like, you know, it makes them more dramatic because it adds a darker black to the lash. So it just makes them pop even more. Um, all right. Um, I'm gonna put some highlighter on. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the Nubian by Juvia's Loose Highlighter. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the inner corners of my eyes and um, a little above my cheekbones. I'm going to use my Moda, this is from Moda, BMX 150 highlight brush. The little dust, doesn't it look like a dust? The, what is it, the broom? It's like the broom. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for my cheeks and I'm going to use this BMX 420 detail brush to put in the inner corners of my eyes. So, 
let's do that and this is very fine i don't know if y'all can see that it might be too bright the light um but it's very very fine like you don't need a lot <laughs> you really don't need a lot it's very potent is that the word <laughs> it's very potent you don't need too much just a spoonful of sugar i don't know i got that from uh uh, what is it? Uh, Mary Poppins? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I go down a little bit on my, um, my bottom lid. I put a little bit of highlighter on the bottom, but not too much. I don't go too far with it. Y'all see that? Does it pop? Does it pop for you? You put a little bit um going upwards towards the top lid too. Just a little bit. Now we're going to add some just a little bit, just dab it on there. Get a little excess off. I'm gonna put a little bit. Love my cheeks. Just to give me a little bit of shine. So I can be shining, 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 shining. Yeah. Don't we all say that? <laughs> Every time we say the word shine, we automatically sing shining, 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 shining. <laughs> Don't we all do that? Or is that just me? I think we all do that. Shout out to Beyonce. Shout out to Beyonce. All right. I got a little bit of shine. Look at my highlight. Ooh, child. So you just need a little bit. That bit just came out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blend that in. Am I shining? Do you see me shining? Just a little bit. Not so much. Just a little bit. Oh, see that? It's a lot on that side, huh? Versus that side. It came out. I told you it's potent. It's strong. <laughs> now I just need some lippy stick. So for my lipstick, <laughs> I love lip gloss and I love pinks. Um which I've already told y'all that when it comes to the eyeshadows. But for the lipsticks too, I don't really wear darker colors. I tend to wear pinks and um, shiny pinks, glossy pinks. So I'm a big fan of lip gloss and um, colored lip gloss. So this is a colored lip gloss. This is from LA Colors High Shine um, Shea Butter Lip Gloss. This color is um, playful. Um, <laughs> I get this from the, the dollar store, Family Dollar. I love this. This is the only kind of um, lip gloss that I get because it has that color pink in it. Um, just like the um, Fawn Concealer, I get this in bulk too. <laughs> this sells out pretty quickly too, but when I see a lot of them, I grab it. <laughs> now, I said I don't wear dark colors, but I do outline my lips with a dark color that highlight i'm telling you the highlight it is loose it be falling everywhere i swear i need a cape when i'm putting makeup on you know the capes that the hairdresser be putting around you when you sit down in the chair i need one of those <laughs> when i do my makeup but this is la colors this is bewitched this is like a maroon burgundy color i use this to outline my lips and then i put the pink lip gloss on i wear my lips like this every day <laughs> every single day i never deviate from the plan i'm telling you when i find something that works i stick with it um i could easily get a actual lip liner pencil you know but i have this i've had this for a while now so you know i just use this to outline my lips but when it runs out then i'll probably 
um, get an actual pencil instead of a lipstick. All right, so I just line my lips with that and then I take my pink lip gloss. Just put that on. I don't really like regular clear lip gloss. Um, I tend to just get the pink lip gloss. I do have clear lip gloss, but I rarely use it. So see, it kind of matches my eyeshadow. How it's like a mixture. See how my eyeshadow is like a mixture of pink and purple, and then when you put lipstick on, you know, pink and purple. I like that. That's like my judge, my thing. Okay. Am I popping? Cause look, when you put lipstick on, that make you pop, man. <laughs> like your face could be beat to the gods, but when you put that lipstick on, it's a whole new thing. All right, so I'm just going to go over my face one more time with this brush. I'm not gonna put anything, I'm not gonna dip any powder or anything on this because it already has product on it. So I'm just gonna go over my face real quick. <laughs> and I know I said, <laughs> I said I don't use um, my face powder at the end. I do it at the beginning because I don't wanna be, you know, trying not to get it on my blush. <laughs> but um, I normally just use this for my forehead, my nose, and my chin. I don't really go under my eyes or anything like that because I don't want to mess up my blush, like I said. But because I put a lot of highlight on that side, I'm just gonna gently tap that just to spread it out a little bit. Nose and slightly tap that highlight. I don't know if that worked, but yeah. All right. And then we will set it off with some finishing spray. I am just about out of this. Like, I probably don't even have enough to spray on. But this is from Hard Candy. This is a matte sheer spray. This is a mattifying um, spray. Um, I don't think I have any left. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I didn't think I had enough. Okay. Let me let that, you know, marinate into my skin, you feel me? <laughs> let it settle in, you know, <laughs> do what you do. I need one of them big fans, you know, I need to and just fan myself. I always wanna learn how to do that. Let me get a big fan and just and then it opens. <laughs> All right, so, ooh. See, I don't like that when you spray and then you see like, the dots <laughs> like it's it, like, it, like my makeup is running you know what I'm uh, I feel like I'm defeating the purpose now of using the spray I don't know if all this is too close but I have to push it down all right all right let me touch up my um eyebrow really quick where is my here it is right in my face man if it was a snake let me tell you it would have got me i'm gonna need to put some concealer along the bottom oh this is one of my new ones oh i didn't bring my my one that was already open i don't want to open up a new one because i have one I'm still using. What about this one? Oh, it's a brand new one. It's a brand new one. Are these all? And that still got a wrap on it. Let me see. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can do this. Because this is a, you know, this is big. I like using. Oh, Jesus. Don't mess up. 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 Cause this thing gonna give me the precise, yeah. This thing gonna give me the precise that I need. 
the precise that I want. Hmm. What am I gonna do with that? Let me just blend that in right quick, cuz that ain't giving me what I want, y'all. That's gonna mess up the look. That's gonna mess up the look. You feel me? Let me wipe that off. I should have just left my damn eyebrow alone. Now, now, let me fix this up real quick. They, they say leave well enough alone. If it ain't fit, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And now here I go, messing up shit. Hey. Y'all know that I'm just humming. Mariah. What song is that? Cause you'll always be my baby. I think I'm good. I don't think I need to clean it up anymore. I'm quite satisfied. All right. So this. It's the finished product. What y'all think? Hmm. 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 What y'all think? You like it? I like it. Do you love me? Do you love me? Hey, wow, wow, hey. All right, guys. This is the final look. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Thank you so much for getting ready with me and having this conversation with me, talking about Meg and other things. Um, I really do send prayers and good vibrations to Meg. She is on a roll with her career. So we don't want this incident to sidetrack her. She will get back on track. I know it, I can feel it. And she will be back twerking and doing all the things that we love. So well wishes to Megan. I'm gonna get ready to go film my video. I've got my look together. I'm gonna go throw on my hair, throw on some little pressing nails real quick, cause baby, I ain't going to no nail salon. I don't give a damn if they got on mask or not. Ain't nobody touching me. That's why I went and bought a whole pack of nails. Okay? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button if you like leave a comment please feel free to do so down below tell me what you guys think about this look or anything that we talked about and if you're not a fly girl or a fly guy yet what are you waiting for subscribe to the channel you guys can also follow me and add me on instagram and snapchat at madam underscore butterfly all right guys until the next time please remember stay focused Stay laughing, stay yourself, stay fly.